one of the biggest obstacles that the public is still facing. is detecting, tracking, and tracing the spread of COVID-19. There's increasing realization in the medical and scientific communities that they're just not going to be able to test every individual. The logistical barriers are just too high. So for an effective surveillance method, we need a way to detect COVID-19 in communities that is both accurate and easily deployable. This is where wastewater testing comes in. Imagine being able to test a dormitory with dozens, hundreds, a town or city with thousands, even millions of people, all in one pooled sample. Our wastewater system allows us to do this. The analysis of wastewater looking for biological or chemical compounds is known as wastewater-based epidemiology, or WBE. WBE has been used already looking for drugs, for pharmaceutical and industrial waste, and bacteria and viruses as pathogens in wastewater and water supplies. The goal of doing wastewater testing or wastewater surveillance for COVID-19 is to create an early warning system in order to better stop the spread of the virus. You're able to accurately quantify the amount of virus in a population, in a community, both comprised of symptomatic and asymptomatic individuals. In March of 2020, a study by KWR Water Research Institute in the Netherlands detected the presence of SARS-CoV-2 virus, that's the virus that causes COVID-19, in the wastewater within a week of the outbreak for the first patients. Since then, several studies have actually been published talking about some of the, the trade-offs, the pluses um, and the drawbacks of doing wastewater testing as compared to patient testing. While there are a lot of early studies that were done using quantitative PCR for wastewater testing, the market is actually finding that using droplet digital PCR gives you a better quality answer. It's more sensitive, it's resistant to inhibitors that are present in wastewater samples. And because of this, we're seeing droplet digital PCR adopted as the new gold standard. So on university campuses, by detecting the wastewater or the sewage using droplet digital PCR, the officials can actually detect the outbreak several days in advance of anyone showing any symptoms. So this is again detecting both symptomatic and asymptomatic individuals in a population, for example, a campus. Um, this is important because they can take measures based on the quantitative answer to either quarantine individuals, increase testing of individuals, or get the appropriate amount of protective personal equipment into those areas where they're most needed. For several years now, Droplet Digital PCR has enjoyed a market leadership position across translational research, biopharma and cell and gene therapy, even oncology for, for patient monitoring. Um, but really seeing it move into this new applied market of wastewater testing, combining wastewater testing, wastewater-based epidemiology, and infectious disease um, has been wonderful to see. With thousands of systems around the world and over 5,000 customer publications, it's not a surprise um, for us that it's such a good tool for absolute quantification. In fact, in October of this year, the CDC released new guidelines on wastewater testing, where they specifically call out the advantages of a droplet digital PCR analysis method because of its inhibitor resistance over other types of methods. So droplet digital PCR is a method for analyzing and quantifying nucleic acids. It works by partitioning the sample into very small droplets. Each of these droplets contains either the target or is not containing the target that you're looking for. These are thermal cycled, like traditional PCR, and then they're read out based on a fluorescent signal. This digital yes-no answer allows us to very precisely give an amount of concentration or starting material in the sample. So wastewater, sewage, as you can imagine, is full of different bacteria and compounds and chemicals and biological material. Um, all of these things can inhibit PCR and the PCR reaction. The approach that Biorad has taken for wastewater-based testing is to develop an assay that detects two different genes, the N gene and the E gene in the COVID-19 virus, SARS-CoV-2. It also uses an MHV in process control and a couple of different fecal indicators, pepper modeled mild virus and crassphage. With this assay and controls, the kit is easy for customers to deploy in their labs to do wastewater-based testing with droplet digital PCR.
When BioRad first learned that our technology could help in the global fight against this pandemic, everyone went to work to make sure they could make a difference. From research and development, marketing, um, engineering teams, supply chain, buyers, manufacturing, supervisors, line managers, you name it. Everyone got involved and put in the work that the emergency demanded. Because of that, BioRad now has the ability to provide the public with several COVID-19 products, from molecular testing for, for humans, all the way through wastewater testing and even antibody testing for serology. So here at BioRad's headquarters in California, as well as from BioRad all over the world, it's really rewarding to get to be part of the fight in this global COVID-19 pandemic. In a world that feels so divided sometimes, it's particularly rewarding to get to come together between different groups and with our customers to solve problems. We really believe that DDPCR with wastewater surveillance is gonna get us out of this mess.